everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's a lovely Saturday. Drinking a cup of coffee. Cheers if you want to grab one too. We're sitting on the ground today, about to do my makeup. And I thought it'd be fun. I got my little mirror. Thought it'd be fun to do one last college QA. I love QAs. They're just so much fun, and I, I feel like it's a great way to just connect with you guys and answer your questions. So I was gonna like do my makeup and then film, and then I was like, no, let's just be super candid. I wanna just get ready with you guys and chat at the same time and answer questions. Um, and yeah, fun little all-in-one here. So I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions. Um, little preface, I'm a senior at the University of Georgia. I won't be able to say that for much longer. I graduate on May 15th. So only a little bit longer, it's very, very weird for me. So I'm trying to do as many college related videos as I possibly can. I'm a little sleepy right now if you guys can't tell. So hopefully by the end of this, um, I'll be a little bit more awake. Follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, to be involved in the next q and I'm gonna film another Q&A very soon about my move to New York City. Um, and just answer all of your questions about apartment hunting and everything. A lot of you guys asked for that. So we're gonna get started with the makeup and the questions. Let's do it. What is the one thing you will miss the most about college? Oh, I'm gonna get so sad. I think just like living in a town where everyone is your age and everyone just like has the same goals of, you know, doing well in school and then, you know, going to the football games and getting to know each other. It's just really cool to live in a town of just a ton of people your age who all root for the same school, here for the same reasons. Like, it's just the coolest thing. And it's this really cool camaraderie where it's like, when it's the weekends, it's like, okay, what are we doing, you know? So I am really excited for the next chapter, but I'm really gonna miss just being able to walk outside and see so many of my friends. How do you feel about being in a relationship for half of college? Wow. It's so funny you say that too, because I was realizing, I was like, wow, okay, I met Ryan second semester. I've been dating my boyfriend for two years, um, a little over two years now. Um, I met him second semester sophomore year. Um, and so I guess, yeah, that's just about two years of college, but you have to remember a good portion of our relationship was during COVID. I guess not a lot of it, but you know, a little bit of it. So we weren't really at school. Um, for about, you know, eight months, whatever. I don't even know what it is. But it's so funny because when I came to college, I thought for sure, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna date a fraternity boy. I'm not gonna meet a guy in college. I don't know, I just, it's not like I didn't want to. I just didn't think it was gonna happen for me. I thought I would just meet someone post-grad. I don't know why I thought that, I just did. I just didn't wanna get my hopes up, I guess. So I just kinda came in with an open mind um, once I was single, cause I did come into freshman year with a boyfriend. So I have been in a relationship more than I haven't been in college, but honestly, <laughs> being in a relationship with Ryan has made college 10 times more fun because I, I am a bit of a grandma. I am a little lame sometimes, I'll admit. And I swear I have a spray tan, so that's why I'm doing the dark foundation. Um, so having a boyfriend to do things with and being friends with all of his best friends, it, now I have a guy friend group. I did not have a guy friend group before I started dating Ryan. I mean, I had guy friends in different fraternities and just from class and stuff, but no set friend group, like with a group chat and no guy friends that I felt like I could call and be like, hey, can you help me out, you know? And now that's just, I am so thankful. Like I'm gonna stay, I want to stay in touch with so many of Ryan's friends, now my guy friends, like some of, his best friends are my best friends now, which is something I never really saw happening. So how do I feel about being in a relationship after college? It makes it so much fun. Like for sorority date nights and stuff, I always had someone to take. I was never stressed about like, oh my God, who am I gonna ask? Like I knew I was gonna have a fun time with Ryan and it made me wanna go to everything because when I wasn't in a relationship for a little bit, I didn't even wanna go to the events because I was like, oh, like I don't wanna have to take someone I don't really know or like I'm not gonna have fun or, you know, I never wanted, I didn't always want to go out because I was like, what's the point? And then it was like, oh, I have a boyfriend. Like, he's so fun. I love his friend. I don't know. It, it honestly has made it so much more fun is what I'm trying to say. And he's, I don't know. He brings out the fun in me for real. So I'm actually really thankful. Long story short. What will you miss the most about living in Georgia? Um, I was just reflecting. And the only two places I've lived in my life are Florida and Georgia. <laughs> I call myself this city girl, like urban life, you know? But I've never, I, like I've been in New York more than I could count. I've traveled a lot, but I've always kind of stuck back to my roots. 
I've always lived in the South, if you will, where everything is a lot more laid back. It's a lot more relaxed, wide open spaces. And I noticed after a while of hustle and bustle, I find myself really just wanting to go back home and be by the water or be in my backyard. And in New York, it won't be like that, you know? I mean, I'll be able to take breaks and go on little getaways and stuff, but it will be a lot more boom, boom, boom. Um, so I am gonna miss the relaxedness of it. Thoughts on an LDR in college? LDR, long distance relationship. I have been there, girlfriend. I had a long distance relationship freshman year. I don't regret it at all because at the time, like I really wanted to stay together and I loved him and he made me so happy, but it did affect, in the sense of college, it affected my college experience. Like I, my freshman year was not the ordinary freshman year. I skipped so many football games. So I was just out of character. I just wasn't myself. Um, and we both knew that that was like, our, the relationship was holding me back but I just didn't want to let it go because it was a comfort thing for me. I hadn't made a lot of friends. What I'm trying to say is, if you're if you're kind of on the fence, I wouldn't do it. Um, I know a lot of people that are in long distance relationships where their boyfriend lives like an hour away. So doable, but, and everything's doable. It's all possible. It's just if you're willing to have that emotional tax on you because it gets exhausting. <laughs> what is your favorite class that you ever took? The first thing that comes to mind was my interpersonal communications class. I took that freshman year with Daly. So much fun. Um, I loved that class. Our professor was awesome. She was great. It was a big lecture hall, but it was one of my first classes at UGA, so it made it really exciting. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many people, you know? We talked about body language and just communicating with different people for different reasons. I don't know. It was just very, very interesting, so I really enjoyed that class. I also surprisingly really enjoyed my trend forecasting class. I'm a fashion merchandising major with an emphasis in brand management. I don't know if I said that in this video. Um, which I guess not surprising. Trend forecasting sounds really cool, but I just didn't necessarily realize that there were actually people in this world that are trend forecasters and it's their job, you know? It's the coolest thing. One thing you wish you knew going into college. I have to answer this question. I think I always answer this question, but I always have the same answer. And I just want everyone to know this. I wish I knew that it was very normal to come into college and not have it all figured out and not have a friend group right away and maybe not love it right away. I thought I was crazy. I thought that everyone else was thriving. I'd look on Instagram and I had just become a member of a sorority. I had just like moved into a new, you know, dorm. I was so excited, but I still like wasn't happy and everyone else seemed like they were having the time of their life and that's how me and Delaney, my current roommate, became such good friends. We one day went to like go study together and I had never really said how I was feeling and somehow we got on the topic of like, oh uh, like, you know, this year's kind of not what I expected. Like I'm not meeting as many friends as I thought. I don't, I don't feel, like I'm not super happy here. I'm not thriving and she was like same, like I feel the same way. I thought I was the only one and then her and I became friends because of that, met other friends and then, you know, the more you, the more and more you talk to people, you realize no one has it figured out and so I think that's something I wish I knew coming in because then I wouldn't have put as much pressure on myself and just would have had more fun um, and not been as worried. Like I didn't even, like, you know, having a group chat or having that friend group, that didn't really solidify for me until sophomore year. So like I've, I'm really thankful that I had a lot of different friends in different little friend groups and met lots of amazing people freshman year, but I didn't feel like I had that one go-to person or a couple go-to people, which I was so used to in high school. I had a friend group of five people, so it was just different. But now fast forward to my senior year, I would say that I do have a group of friends and it's a cool thing, but I just put so much pressure on myself. Favorite semester of college and why? Basically the whole year of 2019. So that would be my second semester sophomore year and my first semester of junior year before COVID hit. The best year, like reflecting back and just looking at photos. I had such a good year this year. I met Ryan, like I said, met, met all of his friends and then all of my friends became friends with his friends and we all did everything together. And then junior year, first semester, Ryan and I turned 21, like two days from each other and our friends hosted this like big surprise party for us. Went to Music Midtown Music Music Festival, went to all the game days. Like it was just such a good year and I was finally 21. So I was starting to travel and like got, actually get to go out with my older friend, like, oh, just a time and a half. Um, so that was a really, really, really fun year for me. So those two semesters for sure. What schools did you apply to? Well, I was actually just talking to someone the other day about this. I applied to nine or 10 schools actually. 
Um, I applied to University of Georgia, University of Alabama, University of South Carolina, Auburn University, Furman University, Fordham University, University of Southern California, and SMU, Southern Methodist University in Dallas. And I really wanted to go to Georgia so bad. Sorry, I'm only looking down because I'm looking at my makeup bag. I wanted to go to Georgia so bad. I basically just got discouraged. I really didn't think I was gonna get in um, to UGA. So, and I'm someone like, when I get excited about something, I really do. And then if it doesn't happen, because I am a planner, I get really let down and really sad. So I was like, no, no, no. I was like, okay, SMU, Southern Methodist University. That's the place for me. I went and visited. I was obsessed with it. I ended up getting into SMU, but it was like this weird program where you had to go to Switzerland for a semester first. And I was like, I don't wanna go to Switzerland my first semester of college. Switzerland sounds amazing, don't get me wrong. And I would love to go in the, like, in the future, but I didn't wanna go my first semester of college. I wanted to have that first, year, like obviously. And so I was really, really upset about it, and, but I ended up getting it to UGA. And I was like, oh my gosh, all this time, I could have been excited about UGA, but I was so worried, I just kind of just threw it off. I was just like, nah, I'm not getting into UGA, and I became obsessed with SMU, but now looking back, I think I would have hated SMU. Um, I think I just wanted to go to SMU because it was a smaller school, it was private, and it was in Dallas, and Dallas is a cool city. Um, but it all ended up working out. Favorite bar in Athens. Um, so Athens, if you guys didn't know, has like the most bars per, within like a certain mile radius or something. I don't even know. I probably shouldn't know that fact. Um, there's just a lot of bars. It's a bar town for sure. Um, and, uh, and I've talked about this in my UGA video. But as you kind of grow up at UGA, you switch the bars you go to. It's like you graduate from like, like there's freshman bars, so it was like sand and city and double. And then, you know, or not even city. City's like a sophomore year bar. And then junior year, you start going to like silver. And where else did we go? I don't even know. And then, yeah, so it was just so interesting. But I'm someone, I love bars. They're fun, they're cool. I love going to places where you can sit and also drink and have nice drinks. I, not trying to sound like a princess, but I really just don't love bar drinks. Like I don't love well drinks. So just like, you know, like the plastic cup with like a vodka Sprite. I don't enjoy drinking a vodka Sprite. I mean, I don't think a lot of people do. I love Polly's. Polly's is my favorite place in the entire world. I wish there was a Polly's in New York City. I'm so serious. I was like, I might need to open a Polly's in New York. Like I might have to figure something out there because they have the best drinks. They play music so loud, but it's also a restaurant. So you go, you sit, you're at your table. You're not walking around. You feel safe. You're just like comfortable. And I've become friends with literally everyone that works there, including the manager. So I just, Really enjoy it there. It's fun. Um, my friend, I didn't bring any lip stuff, sorry. I just really enjoy it. It's like our place. So I love Polly's. But bars, I don't know. What's something you regret not doing in college? I don't regret this because I didn't really have the opportunity to when I was ready for it. But I guess I, yeah, I regret it. Um, I regret not studying abroad. I. I don't really know when I was planning on doing it. I really wanted to study abroad for a Maymester. Um, and then when I switched my major to fashion merchandising, the only really Maymester that I was interested in that was offered was in New York City, um, which I was supposed to do last year and then COVID happened. So I got to write a 20 page essay instead to get the credit that I needed. <laughs> um, but I, you know, talking to like Brooke and just some of my other friends, talking to people that have studied abroad, it sounds like th they have some amazing memories and it's a really cool thing to like, like I was saying earlier, be with your peers and study in a new environment. I think that would have been really cool, but I just never really had that opportunity. What was it like changing majors? So I came into UGA intended business, um, which is Terry school here. And I thought I wanted to do marketing. And then I took some core classes freshman year that were required for Terry majors. And there's a reason they make you take some of those because they were hard and math is not my thing. And so therefore I was like, marketing is not for me, you know? So I was like, okay, maybe I'll try out Grady, which is the school of advertising. You can do public relations. You can do, I'm trying to think what else they have in that major. Um, like Delaney's advertising, um, my friend Daly's PR. There's so many different realms, and I was like, ooh, maybe I'll do that. And so I was intended Grady, I hadn't applied yet. And then I decided I was gonna minor in fashion merchandising. I was like, advertising, minor in fashion merchandising, it'll be great. 
my first day of my first fashion merchandising class, I became obsessed with my professor. She remembered my name after the second class and everything we were talking about, obviously I was very, very interested in. I had a lot of knowledge in already and I just really enjoyed it. And the people in my class were so cool and it's a smaller major. So like now I know everyone in the fashion merchandising department. So it, it's just really, really cool. Like everyone, all the fashion merchandising majors work at like all the boutiques here in Athens. And there's a lot of really cool clubs involved. I'm now a part of Strike Magazine. There's just, it was just a community that I really wanted to be a part of. So I didn't even end up applying to Grady, which was the advertising school and ended up, um, then ended up switching my major. And so I was a little stressed. I was really nervous to tell my parents. I was just a little overwhelmed. Um, so what was it like? It was great and very exciting. However, now I'm actually graduating with more credits than needed, but um, a couple of, basically a couple of classes I took throughout my college career were unnecessary because I changed my major. Like some of the classes I took, I needed for other majors, but they didn't count towards stuff I needed for fashion merchandising. So I just took a couple of classes for no reason essentially, but it's okay, you know? Would you get in trouble if opposite sex slept over in the dorms? <laughs> well, like I said, I'm very lame. Uh, freshman year, I never had that experience, so <laughs> I wouldn't know, but I did live in an all girls dorm. I didn't even know I was in an all girls dorm until like the day we moved in and it was like, it's all girls and we're all like, okay, here we go. But it's fine because I definitely wanted to be on an all girls hall, so it like doesn't really matter. Um, but I don't think you got in trouble. No, you definitely get in trouble. How would you rate your overall college experience while being a YouTuber? Or no, how would you rate your overall experience being in college while being a YouTuber? It was great. You know, it coming from out of state, not knowing many people at all. Yeah, it was a little not fun at times when people were like, oh, you make YouTube videos. Like, you're the YouTube girl. And I was like, that's all they know about me. But at the same time, it was really nice, especially freshman year, when I would be like out or like, you know, trying to make friends out and about and someone would come up to me saying they watch my videos and then we ended up being friends and then we ended up being friends because of it. There were times where I was just like standing in line for the bathroom at a party that I didn't really want to be at and someone would come up to me and say like, hey, watch your videos and it made my whole entire life and it just kind of rejuvenated me. So that was really cool. Um, I've never really had a negative experience at college while being a YouTuber in the sense of like, bullying or everyone's so accepting, especially now, like the TikTok world and everything. People know social media has its power. Did you ever think about transferring? Yes, I did. I actually applied to transfer to a school in New York City. I actually went and toured FIT and LIM um, in New York City. And when I was there and touring, it just made me realize how much I actually loved UGA and how much I could wait for New York. And now I am going to New York, so I'm glad I waited. Holy crap, my life would be so different now. But I did want to transfer for a second, but it wasn't for good reasons. I just wanted an out. I didn't fully put myself into the school. And so I wasn't getting what I wanted back. And so after I toured, I was like, okay, I don't want to be here. I want to go back to UJ, but I really need to make it worthwhile. And I completely changed my mindset. And now I'm so happy I stayed. Alrighty, I think that does it. I feel like this video is really long. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for chatting with me and watching. Um, subscribe if you are new here. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. My makeup is all done now, woohoo. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon for the next video. Bye.